All right, we're gonna get started pretty quick here today uh, because I have hot coffee brewed. What I have here is um, one cup from the Didding Lab Suite, one cup from the Fellow O Gen 2, one cup from the Time War Sculptor 064S, and then one from the 078, and this one has turbo burst. Um, protocol for this is uh, 1 to 16 ratio, 25 grams to 400 milliliters, uh, brewed in a technivorm. I have a score sheet today. I'm going to be tracking um, on a score of 1 to 10 per coffee, body, clarity, acidity, and sweetness. So I'm going to turn around. Hannah, will you come and mix these up for me? Everybody say hi to our videographer, Hannah. Let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> right off the bat, I can tell uh, this is going to be pretty close. These are not drastically different cups here. Okay. I want to taste these two again. Um, the 078 and the 068S, now that I have them side by side here. Yeah, clearly more acidity here in the 68S, <clears throat> but I get more of a kind of drying sensation in the 78. More complexity to the tongue in the 68 too. Um, kind of a hard, hard pick. I. If I were to choose between these two cups, I would probably say the 68S wins. Um, it's really interesting because my results here differ uh, from other people's results on YouTube. So uh, take that for what it's worth. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the uh, 64S. S stands for espresso. Uh, the 078 here has turbo burrs, so this is a filter model. Um, the geometry between these two burrs is, is different. Um, if you look at the 064S, it has a very similar sort of geometry to it as um, SSP high uniformity burrs. You can kind of see that teeth. The 078 had a really strange hybrid between um, ghost teeth and uh, standard cutting blades. They both do, but it's much more obvious here in, in the 78, um, which is a, a totally um, unique feature for these grinders, kind of blending those two worlds. So the, the 68S has stepless adjustment, advantageous for espresso. The 78 has stepped adjustment. I think it's totally fine. I don't, I don't think you really need stepped adjustment at all for pour over coffee. I when I'm using a uh, stepless EK every day, I end up using the numbers pretty much every time I change grind anyways. So um, plenty of <clears throat> adjustability there. On the back, there is RPM control. Okay, so some other features. Um, these have an auger. So they're, they're auger fed grinders, kind of like the Ode is. Okay, so both of these have magnetic grounds catches. The lids are also lightly magnetic. I believe there's also a, a magnet inside of the burr chamber as well. The magnets are just great. They feel good. Um, I think the, the catch on the, yeah, on the 78 is, is much more substantial. This thing's much heavier. And so it has a little bit less kind of magnetism to it. This one has a little more snap in terms of overall feel, I know a lot of you kind of wonder, this feels really solid. I was, I was impressed the first time I picked these up. I mean, this is, this is heavy. This guy right here, I mean, that is really heavy. You guys want to hear what they sound like? I'll get my mic up close. So this is the 68S. There goes those two beans. Struggling through. There they go. All right, 78.
both together. Okay. Um, so these are brushless DC, so they're really quiet, way quieter than uh, your average, you know, Baratza Virtuoso Encore or especially like a Sete. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, my name is Ryan. I'm the product manager here at Prima. And if you're just joining the Prima Coffee community for the first time, we welcome you. Uh, we do a lot of different events like this. Um, so stick around with us.